Emergency workers are continuing to search for 24 people missing from an Italian cruise ship disaster. 11 people have been confirmed dead after the ship, with more than 4,200 on board, ran aground off Tuscany. The ship's Italian operator has blamed its jailed captain for causing the wreck. World News reports. Italian rescuers on Tuesday used controlled explosions to enter the wreck of a stricken luxury liner. Four days after it struck a reef on the shores of Tuscany, fears grow for Costa Concordia's cruise ship missing. The rescue crew are trying to reach the missing people, blasting holes to go inside the cruise ship in a desperate search for survivors. Meanwhile, the inquiry is focusing on the captain's, Mr. Francesco Schettino, who's blamed to be the only guilty of the disaster. A disaster that could be even ecological if firemen and coast guard cannot eliminate the fuel inside the cruise ship. The head of the Italian Coast Guard said a glimmer of hope remains of finding survivors, as a giant half-submerged vessel was yet to be fully inspected. More than 4,200 people were aboard the ship when it ran aground and capsized on Friday, but most of them had been rescued or swam ashore. The death toll has risen to 11, as five more bodies were rescued on Tuesday. The number of the missing now stands at 24. The last survivor, a crew member who broke his leg, was rescued on Sunday. The Coast Guard does not stop and will go on until we know that the ship is empty, and we will do everything we can. As emergency crews continued with the increasingly desperate search, the ship's operator said the jailed captain should be held accountable. The operator, Costa Crocier Spa. Says Captain Francesco Chettino intentionally strayed from the ship's authorized course into waters too close to the coast. The company said Costa ship routes are programmed into their navigation systems, and alarms go off when they deviate. But those alarms are disabled if the ship's course is manually altered. The captain, arrested one day after the disaster, has already been accused of manslaughter and abandoning the ship before all people were evacuated. The Coast Guard says Chettino defied their pleas for him to return to his ship, as the chaotic evacuation was in full progress. Now, days after the tragedy, the weather has improved slightly, but the seas are still rough. As choppy waters continue to batter the giant cruise liner, many fear that the disaster could turn into an environmental crisis. The giant cruise liner said a little on Monday, but it could plunge 2,300 tons of fuel below the pristine waters of Tuscany, that are part of a marine nature reserve. At the moment, there is no risk of pollution. The ship is not leaking anything. There was a small fringe at the stern of the ship, something that evaporates immediately. We placed it around the ship floats, breakdown of which severe to contain any oil spills. But at the moment, there is no alarm of this type. Italy's environment ministry said a state of emergency would be declared this week to beef up rescue and clean-up operations in case of an environmental disaster.